Good evening. It's Captain Kate again on day 20 of Advent. We're almost there, just over a week to go to celebrate the birth of Christ. Today, the uh, devotional reading is entitled The Cross of Christmas. Readings, if you'd like to read through them before we start, are Isaiah chapter 56 verses 1 to 3a and 6 to 8 and then the Gospel of John chapter 5 verses 33 to 36. John chapter 5 verse 36 b says this, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. As we move through Advent, pondering readings that often seem unrelated to the big celebration just around the bend, we are given a glimpse of Jesus' progression from a relatively unknown person to the Messiah he was born to be. In today's Gospel, Jesus continues to preach to the followers of John the Baptist, telling them in various ways that John was the messenger, the prophet foretold in Jewish scripture, preparing the way for the one. Jesus never comes out and tells them who he is. He gives them background and metaphors in hopes that the people will put two and two together. All these centuries later, we need the same gentle but forceful scriptural brick over the head to remind us who it is we're preparing to celebrate. Not just a baby, not just a prophet, not just a holy man, but the Messiah, the Christ, the saviour of the world and our own personal saviour. We know that throughout his years of ministry, Jesus performed many signs and miracles, and still he was hung on a cross. We know throughout our lives that Jesus has done the same for us in big and small ways, and still we often don't want to think about the cross. It's much more comforting and comfortable to think of the baby lying in the manger. Jesus didn't come to the world to comfort the world, but to save it. And he told us in a multitude of ways that if we follow him, we too will be uncomfortable at times, maybe even to the point of true suffering. Christ Christmas is coming, but it includes the cross. Do we still want to celebrate? Find a crucifix and put it amongst your Christmas decorations as a not so subtle reminder that we cannot have one without the other. Come back to the cross daily. Pray for the strength to face whatever cross you're carrying today and be willing to step up and pick up a cross on your behalf or maybe someone else's. Let's pray together. Jesus, our Saviour, we prepare for your birth knowing it will lead to Calvary and the cross. We want to follow you with our whole hearts, minds, bodies and spirits. Make us strong in your sight. Amen. And I'll see you tomorrow.